What's up guys, it's Hemp Physique and I'm back with another banger, man. You already know what it is, man. It's December 7th and I'm back, you know what I'm saying? I'm making these videos for y'all all December. You already know what it is, reactions all day. You feel me? But today's video, we're gonna be reacting to 10 things T.I. cannot live without on GQ. Let's get into the video, man. No, 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 no. I don't like, I, I don't drink, I don't drink soda with my alcohol. I don't really like carbonation with my alcohol. I just need one big rock, you know what I'm saying, for my libation. Hey, say what's happening, GQ? I'm t but this nigga, this nigga T.I. always using big ass words like, like the fuck? Soda with my alcohol. I don't really like carbonation with my alcohol. He talking about something, carbon, carbonation? Like nigga, just say soda, bro. Uh, I just need one big rock. You know what I'm saying? For my libation. Libation? Like, nigga, like. <laughs> hey, say what's happening, GQ? I'm TIP, and these are my essentials. It look like he got some dope he shit. Is, uh, uh -huh. essential part of my day. Maybe three, four times a day I have a cup. Now, not that I run around with bags of tea, just loose oh, tea nah. bags in oh, my pocket. Oh, oh, nah, 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 nah. See, that's already an X for me. That's already X for me, cause I don't even fuck with tea like that. Bag or nothing, but I will make a stop and make sure that I get me a, a cup of Earl Grey tea and a guy. Uh -huh. I'd rather I get those, drinking uh, coffee those Kool Aid packets. Three, three years, maybe four years ago, tea was the uh, likely alternative. Earl Grey was the first one that I tried because I asked which one has the best taste and the most caffeine. And they directed me to black tea. I begin to doubt Tea is just nasty, bro. Like, I don't see how y'all can drink also tea, chat. bro. I do chat too, bro. Like, tea, tea is like, it tastes like a plant, bro. I don't see how y'all can drink tea, bro. Tea is like the nastiest drink ever on earth. Three is my favorite. Mm, These essential items are, okay. are my J's. Fashion, fly, and comfort. That's very important. Huge priorities for me. Okay, and my okay. Is usually. Okay, see, not his lineup. This uh his second one, I really fuck with his second uh choice. Cause he got the Jordan ones. You know you can't go wrong with the Jordan ones. You know, you can't go wrong wrong with the Jordan ones. And Jordan's just period is like a amazing shoe to me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get my Jordan game up, but I fuck with you T.I. on that one. The Air Jordans. Or the Air Maxes, especially if I'm running in and out of town, on and off of planes, you dig? So these right, are you gotta be food. comfortable. The first pair of Jordans that I ever owned, I believe were the number fours, the Jordan fours. Mind you, I was probably in second grade, third grade at the time when they came out. And I just remember how, you know, how big of a deal it was when I got them. I have yeah. been a, a, a loyal enthusiast ever since. Bro, I'm telling you like, when you get your first pair of J's, you gonna be like an enthusiast like on other J's. Like when you get your first authentic pair, not fake, but authentic, you know what I'm saying? You you gonna be an enthusiast with it. Like you gonna you gonna know all the all the Jordans from the ones on up. You feel me? Aficionado, if you will. These are essential to me because them tank it's like underwears and socks to me. This is an essential part of my of my undergarment fashion, I guess you could say. But the thing is, I don't like the the fancy, you know, all of the, the expensive Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm more partial to Hanes. They give me a tight fit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The, the, I the, feel the, you on that one. The other ones are a little loose. I don't think they understand the concept of an undershirt. Yeah, I wear under damn near everything. You know, I don't want my nipples just rubbing up against just bare shirts and stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, even though that's weird, T.I., you know what I'm saying? But I feel you. I feel you on that one because you got to have an undershirt. Like, you got to have an undershirt. It just bro. doesn't feel natural to me. 
Oh, nah, this nigga pulling out some bullshit. I don't even fuck with books, bro. I don't even read books. material to me is extremely I important. Even read I just, books. you know, like to keep abreast with, you know, the things that I guess are hiding from us inside I, of I books. I'd just rather watch a so movie. So I like to at least have one or two books with me for flights and just, you know, when I might be on long rides. I just try to, you know, just continue to keep reading in, in, my, in my daily by daily practices, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to read as much as I can, don't read enough. So I actually started this book, Spook Set by the Door. I have not I'd finished it yet. I'd rather read Spook a mo movie, bro. Man, and uh, it's about a black man in espionage <clears throat> and how he has to kind of uh, manage his ego and emotion, you know, to accomplish tasks and fulfill long-term goals. Uh, this is Behold the Pale Horse, written by William Cooper. This is a book about uh, many, many secrets that the government has been hiding from the American people. William Cooper gave his life to share these secrets with us. At least I believe. You know, that's what I believe. I read it. Not interested, man. Not interested. 99 when I first got it, I went through it. And I thought, I was like, man, this Books is, are like so boring. This could not be true. There's no way this is happening, right? Cut to everything. Now, today, everything this book talked about has come to pass. Everything. And so now, I'm, you know, I, I went back to it and started to read some more information. I, I just can't, I, I can't read books, man. This is a crossbody mess. Messenger bag. One thing I hate, you know, is having like full pockets, like pockets everywhere. Phone and keys and bankroll and passport. I feel you on that one. Just all in my pockets. This bag helps me kind of. Bruh, especially like when you try to like take pictures and shit. Like, bruh, you don't even look right with your pictures look, I mean, with your pockets looking fat in the pictures, bruh. So I, I can see where a bag come in handy, bro. I can see where a bag come in handy, bro. Keep things together without having a pocket <laughs> full of clutter. Well, this specific one is made by Christian Dior, but I am not necessarily uh, tied to the name brand of it all. This was a gift from my wife and I like it. It's big enough to keep everything that I need, but not too big to carry around every day. So I usually give them about a six month rotation and then swap them out, maybe three. When I'm on Got the go as much as I up. am, it's not like I know exactly where I may land. When I'm in the hotel, I don't necessarily know if they will have, you know, stereo system or any kind of accessibility for me to play my music. I bring my um, my Bluetooth speaker with me. It sets the mood, creates my vibe, gets me ready to take on the tasks of all of my busy days. It what does. am I listening to these days? <laughs> uh, uh, well, you know what, oddly enough, I'm still listening to the Libra. I know it's a bit self-gratuitous, but uh, it's exceptionally good. See, this nigga always using pig ass words, bro. Like, what the fuck do Listen that mean, me, bro? I know it's a bit self gratuitous, but. What is he saying? Self gratuitous. Well, uh, I'm still listening to the Libra. I know it's a bit self gratuitous, but uh, it's exceptionally uh, good. I also uh, listen I to Marvin Gaye, Hear My Dear. On the way here, I was listening to Al Green, Let's Stay Together, Curtis Mayfield. The 21 Savage album is dope. Thug's last album, definitely dope. I listen to Damani, Time Will Tell. Listen to Snow Allegra also. Janae Aku, her last one was dope. Okay, all right. The ones that I fuck with on this list, T.I., I really don't listen to you like that. You know what I'm saying? But I could listen to you. Marvin Gaye, I don't listen to Marvin Gaye. Al Green, I fuck with Al Green. Hey, for all y'all, for all y'all who want to know, if y'all get a girl in the bed, that's the song to play. You feel me? Is Goddamn Al Green, goddamn. I don't know about the song, Let's Stay Together, but Al Green, you know what I'm saying? 21 Savage, I fuck with him. Curtis Mayfield, that must be some old ass nigga shit. Uh, Young Thug, that's my dog. I'll sign to you YSL, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Janine Eco, I fuck with you, Janine Eco. I ain't afraid to say it, I'm a man. Oh, big show, man. I Join listen to Janine Eco. He just dropped. Oh, nah. Haven't Join heard the, I don't listen to yeah, Join the Lucas. Hell, dude. And always Tupac, Big, NWA, Snoop Dogg. Oh, I just reacclimated myself with the Doggy Style album. I hadn't heard it in a, quite a bit of time. Man, I'm talking about listening to it all the way down. It's just as dope today as it was in 93, I must say. Hmm. See some old ass nigga shit. 
This is a red rock ginger ale. While I don't drink soda often, ginger ale is kind of like one of the only sodas that I will drink. And red rock is my favorite ginger ale. I grew Bro, up. Bro, like, what the fuck is a red rock ginger ale? Like, I never heard of that before. Drinking it, my grandmama started. That, like, that don't even look healthy for you, bruh. Giving it to me as a kid when I got sick. And I didn't really like it then. It's real strong, strong ginger, you know. It looked it, it look like it's not healthy for you, bruh. Just a little bit. But when I got <laughs> older, I began to enjoy the kick. So now it's kind of like my go-to ginger ale. It's not sold a lot of places. When I see it, I grab it. And keep them around. They sell those at the A-Rab stores. Man. No, 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 no. I don't like. I, I don't drink. I don't drink soda with my alcohol. I don't really like carbonation with my alcohol. I just need one big rock. You know what I'm saying for my libation. Nigga this said is a Clive libation. Christian fragrance. It is a 1872, I believe. You know, Clive Christian is a highly concentrated cologne here. And when I say highly concentrated, I mean it has a, a thick oil presence. And how concentrated mm. the oil is, it's going to dictate and determine how long the fragrance will, you know, blend with your skin. Yeah. How long it'll take to wash away. This is a... Uh, an expensive bottle of cologne. <laughs> hey, hey, bitch tried to, he tried to explain what the uh, cologne do, goddamn big words. He just had to break that shit down. the fragrance will, you know. He don't even know what the hell he's talking about. How long it'll take to wash away. This is. That's basically, that's what he was trying to say. How long it'll wash away. It'll take to wash away. Instead of saying all that shit that he said. Uh, an expensive bottle of cologne. They say it's because it's highly concentrated or the most concentrated, but I think you're just paying a lot of money for a fancy name. I definitely have different fragrances for, for different events, different environments, different vibes. I believe your fragrance is a part of your, it's a part of your personality. It's a part of like how you feel, what you're doing. The same way you get dressed, you wear a certain thing. If, you, if you're in a certain mood, I feel the same way about fragrance. This is a good daytime, you know, just a good daytime on my way out and, and about to start my day fragrance. I mean, it's also good for when you come home at the end of the day and you take a shower, change clothes, and head back out, you know, to get oh, your hell night started. Yeah. You know, it's also yeah, good for right. that. It's kind of all around, all purpose, you know what I'm saying? It's essential. If not this particular fragrance, something as good or better. Right here we have uh, a, a, a hoodie on, now, man. Kool's Got my like, hoodie like on, Kool's, man. man. We've been around for about 13, working on our 13th year, and hoodies are essential for me, just because as I as I travel, airport attire, or even just everyday running errands. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to stay comfortable, still be fashionable, and fly without being too extra. So, right, a cool right. Is essential right. For me. Look, you can just. Throw on a hoodie and just go on about your day, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even gotta be too swagged out. You ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta do none of that. Like, you just put on a hoodie and then you you just go on about your day. You know what I'm saying? So this is my portable charger. It's called my charge. Now, the beauty of this is Bro, I could use a portable charger, bro, but them shits be fucking up phones, like. One, bro, I remember one time I fucking bought a portable charger, bro. Plugged it up, bro. That shit had, that shit literally had my phone dying quicker than what it's supposed to die. And I don't have no fucking iPhone. I mean, no uh, Android. I have a motherfucking iPhone. You know what I'm saying? It's handling business. I run several companies, and most of my business is handled on my phone. Most of the decisions that I have to make and the things that I have to review, either on conference calls, Zooms, emails. So it's it's very important that I maintain a, at least a half of a battery. You know what I'm saying? And this allows me to plug my phone up without having to sit still. And I hope that's an expensive on to be one, Tiana. From a wall plug. It allows me to charge my phone while I'm on the go and still handle my business. My goal is to at least keep it at half, and when I see it at half, to refill it or recharge it. When do I start to be concerned if, about the level of battery I have? Usually. When it, when it turns off, you know what I'm saying? Usually I don't notice that it's dead until it's dead. Probably in the middle of the level of battery I have, usually 
when it when it turns off. You know what I'm saying? Usually I don't notice that it's dead until it's dead. Probably in the middle of a discussion. See, you, you're a busy man, In other words, you want to say you're a busy man, man. Say you're a busy man, man. Oh. But anyways, man, y'all see my reaction to 10 things T.I. cannot live without GQ. You know what I'm saying? Please like, comment, and subscribe. I fuck with mostly everything that T.I. You know what I'm saying? Brown to the table except the black tea. And uh, and that's pretty much it. But you know what I'm saying? That was my reaction to T.I. Top thing. You know what I'm saying? Have physique. We out.